Well, hello everybody, welcome back. If you remember last Tuesday, we took a closer look at Dr. Squatch's Star Wars collection. In particular, we looked at the light side, right? Well, today, we're actually now going to be looking at the other side, or the dark side. In this case, we're going to be looking at the Ruthless Rinse and the Dark Side Scrub. My goal here, my friends, is to hopefully teach you and have you fully understand the power of the dark side. So with that being said, let's get right into the review. Well guys, well everybody, welcome to this review. Guys, man, this is really cool. This is pretty darn cool. You know, I never really thought I'd ever be doing a review with uh, some of my favorite characters of all time, characters I grew up with. Uh, this is pretty exciting. This is really fun for me. So hopefully you enjoy this review. Guys, just like last time, I want to try something a little different. I wanted to uh, kind of remove the voiceover over the soap and box. Um, when, we, when we take a closer look at the box and, and the soaps and things like that, remove the voiceover, just let music play. I do want to do that again here. Uh, I appreciate the feedback. Seems very positive so far. So we might make this a permanent change going forward. I think it's for the better. It does feel a little smoother. And I, I just think it's better overall. Also, as you notice, I'm unveiling the black um, backdrop. And what a perfect timing. What better video <laughs> to unveil a new background than yours truly, the dark side. So guys, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the soaps and the boxes. So. Oh, dude, that look cool, huh? Bro, the Vader looks sick, dude, with the with the black and red swirl. Just looked furious, looked angry. Uh, you couldn't tell, but there's it actually features sand in it. It is an exfoliator. Uh, interesting enough, the dark side are both exfoliators. And the mall, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was a little disappointed about the mall. I was really expecting it to be like horns around it, so. 
basically soap sucks, so whatever. But no, seriously, the mall looked really tough. Had like that deep, dark, sinister red with the sprinkling with the black sand. That looked really tough, looked really cool. Both the boxes also kind of same thing with the light side, had like a mug shot of each one, nice little art style. Um, the, the mall had like the, again, that deep red and the Vader just simply was just black, so. But all right, Padawans, that is what the boxes and the soaps look like up close and personal. Let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna take a closer look at the ingredients of these bad boys. Okay, awesome guys. Let's go ahead and post the ingredients on the screen. And guys, nothing to report here. As you can tell, all natural ingredients, everything really checks out. There's nothing here even to really call suspicion or anything like that. Uh, both have natural fragrances. All the ingredients are all natural. Now there are two ingredients here I do want to point out because I think they're just pretty cool. You don't see them very often. On the mall, we have the, um, what is the dragon fruit? I thought that was pretty cool. You don't really see dragon fruit being featured in soaps very often, if any. I don't really think, I don't think we've seen dragon fruit here on the channel. This might be the first time we've seen dragon fruit. All I know, dragon fruit is really loaded in antioxidants, super high in vitamin C, which is really good for the skin and things like that. And then on the flip side, we have the chokeberry <laughs> uh, for the Vader. At first, I thought this was a joke, man. I thought they were just kind of being funny, you know? You know, you know how they are sometimes. Apparently not, no man, chokeberry is like, it's a real thing. And it's like, I think it's also known as aronia. And so I had to go look it up because just to get an idea what the hell it is. Apparently, dude, it's just like a little shrub. Look very similar to like a little blueberry or a little blackberry or something like that, even a red berry. As they come like a very bright red or like deep dark bluish color. And they have like these white flowers. Now these berries are edible. Now I don't quite recommend you eating them because simply due to the fact that Apparently the flavor is so astringent that it uh, actually can make you like kind of choke on yourself there. But hey man, you do you buddy. I'm not gonna judge you, but all I can say to you is just don't choke on your own aspirations. So, all right, that pretty much wraps up the ingredient part of this video. Let's move right along to the sniff test where I typically try to do my best to tell you how these soaps actually smell. So let's move right on. I just wanna start by saying this about the mall. The mall is really interesting. It's a very fascinating bar. You have a lot of different things going on. For me, the two things that really stood out had like a, a really aggressive fruity thing going on. I, I guess that must be the dragon fruit. Uh, and you also like a little spice underneath there. Now on the side, they do claim to have some woody aromas. I didn't really pick that up, but whatever. Now, but for me, it was mostly those two were the ones that really stood out there. You really had like a duel of fates thing going on there between the two. It was a nice little battle and overall made like a really nice aggressive bar of soap. And I think overall the mall smells really, really good. I, I can see a lot of people are gonna like that one. For me personally, I think it just comes a tad right under the light side. Uh, it's a close call, it's not It's not by much. I think, for me, I just wish they would have uh, really leaned a little bit more into that aggressiveness for me. Um, Cause man, if, even for like that kind of soap, man, I, I kind of felt they played it a little safe. It was kind of mellow actually. And I think that's from the fruity vibe there or the dragon fruit, whatever. I, I, I guess in my mind, I was just expecting a little more um, feistiness, a little more um, spice or, or whatnot. Now, I don't want to say cinnamon because then I think it would smell too much like the Mars bar, but something a little bit more. I just felt they could have been a little more aggressive. I wish they would have leaned a little bit more in that, let it really stand out. I really think then it would have like, it would have popped for sure. But overall, I really think it was a great one. I think the mall was fantastic though. Now the Vader is the one that's like really interesting and I almost kind of sympathize with him a little bit because I don't know how, where do you even begin to come up with a scent profile that properly represents Vader? Like that one's interesting because Vader's, unlike Maul, Vader's a much more uh, intricate, a little more complex character, um, at least from the movies and the comics and things like that. There's a lot going on there. He represents a lot of different things at different points of his life. So it's really interesting what exactly does Vader smell like or what does a soap that represent him would smell like. And it's difficult for the dark side period 
because typically dark side or anything dark or evil is always represented or associated with like foul and uh, grotesque aromas. And for the Vader here, Dr. Squatch decided to go with an amber, kind of smoky uh, scent. And it's okay. It's good. Uh, it's not bad. It's it's not my favorite. Uh, I think out of all four of them, I hate to say it, but it's probably the weakest one in my opinion. Um, I wasn't necessarily doing backflips over. I think it's good. I'm glad it's there than not being there. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to like the Vader because um, it does have it does have it has a nice smell. It's just doesn't do anything special for you, at least not for me. And as compared to the others, at least the others, there was something, something about the others here. Not really. It just was kind of bland. And um, I don't know. Just kind of wish they would have lean do it. It's almost like that they didn't really know what they wanted to do with it. Honestly, that's how that's how the Vader felt to me. The Vader felt like they didn't really, they did not know what exactly. They kind of went, you know, he does breathe through a ventilator, and there's a lot of smoke all the time around him. So let's make him smoky. And even then, like it doesn't even really have a strong smoky smell, and that might be for the better, depending on how you look at it. You know, I don't want to talk too much junk about it because I mean. <laughs> I don't want to be in the shower and just mind my own business and <laughs> start choking a little soap, <laughs> giving me the death choke. But I'm sorry, Vader. I think at the end of the day, Vader's the weakest one. So sorry about that. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much my vibes or my overall impressions and uh, thoughts on the smells. Uh, please let me know what you think about them. Super fascinating. Very interesting what you guys think of what a Vader soap, what would you what kind of vibe or what tones or profile you would have chose. I think that's really interesting. But with that being said, guys, let's move on to the next part of it where we're gonna do the lather test and we're gonna lather both of them and uh, go from there, come back, do a conclusion and wrap up the video. So here we go. <laughs>
So welcome back guys. As you can tell, the Lala Tales was on point for both soaps. Typical stuff for Dr. Squatch, but hey, either way, it's just nice to see, so two thumbs up there. All right, guys, let's start wrapping up the video. Let's kind of go over everything and kind of give some final thoughts and some conclusions here. First and foremost, looking back at the soaps and the boxes, man, I think the dark side really nails it here. I really like the aesthetics. I think it's really, really good stuff, really furious and sinister and just, ah, you can feel the anger coming from these soaps. It's really good stuff. And uh, I think, I think actually I, I by a tad bit, I, I, I prefer the way the dark side looks here. It looks, just looks cool. I'm really happy about the ingredients. Everything was all natural. Nothing really stood out or any red flags or anything like that. Everything checks out. So we're good to go on the ingredients. We should have no problems, should be good to go. It's interesting with the dark side because it just felt like, I just feel like they almost didn't quite know exactly what they wanted to do with the dark side. I could be wrong, but it just felt that way, especially for the Vader. Um, especially when I compare it to the light side, it just felt they had a, a little bit more clear direction and what they wanted to do with the light side. Dark side smelled good, not saying it doesn't. I just think it falls a little bit underneath the light side. So overall, they smell, they all smell really nice. Now, if you're talking about the performance, it's pretty much on par with anything Dr. Squash makes. Same idea with the light side. Um, I'm kind of reiterated here as well. If you're buying the, the Star Wars collection, or if you're interested in this, I'm it's almost pretty safe to assume you are pretty much already a fan or, or um, already a subscriber or you're, you're already familiar with Dr. Squatch's products. And I am pleased to let you know that these, just like any other soaps, are on par. Um, it is interesting enough though that the dark side, both of them are exfoliators Whereas both of their bars on the light side are cleansing bars. I thought that was interesting. I don't know if they did the, well, I'm assuming they did that on purpose. Uh, but I wonder what was the thought behind that. I guess because exfoliator is, is more rat, more abrasive, more tough, um, more aggressive there. So interesting, interesting what they did there. So my thoughts on the dark side is going to be a complete reflection on the light side. I think it's fun. It's been a real treat reviewing these soaps. We don't really get a bunch of an opportunity to talk about our review soaps that feature really cool characters or, or just cool stuff in general like that. So it's, it's, it felt like a treat. It, it just felt fun and it was, um, I hope no one takes these reviews too seriously. You know, it's just kind of all in good spirit and it was just real, real fun to review them. I don't know how long they're gonna be on for sale. So if you have the cash to spare and you can afford some, I know it's in the times we're in, I know that could be tough for some people, but if you can and you're you're kind of on the fence and you're thinking like, do I get them or do I not? If you're one of those people that finds yourself in that position, then I say go for it. They're really nice. I don't think you're gonna regret it. Um, they're, they're just all four of them are really good smells and they do their, they do their thing, you know? Um, also, I did forget to mention this in the last video. Do know this, you if if you're not subscribed to Dr. Squatch, then you have to buy the bundle, meaning you have to buy all four. And that will come at $32. Each of them will be five ounces, just like normal, uh, but know that. Now, if you wanted to buy them individually, you must subscribe to Dr. Squatch. If that's kind of like making some of you go, ooh, don't worry, you can subscribe, then buy, then unsubscribe. I mean, <laughs> whatever. You know what I mean? Looking out for you, bro. And you get free shipping, so gotcha. So there you have it, everybody. That pretty much wraps up my review, my thoughts on the dark side. I think ultimately it's a pretty easy recommendation for me. Go for it, try them, have fun with them. However, just know that we're not necessarily done with Dr. Squatch. We will be back next Tuesday with another review on Dr. Squatch as I'm taking another look at one of their limited editions, the Stone IPA they just recently launched. Uh, and so far, a little foreshadowing is looks good. It's looking really good, guys. Don't miss that review. This one's a good one. So, but with that being said, guys, this is Natural Soul Man. It's been a pleasure to serve you as always. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. But until then, guys, you take care of yourself. And all my friends, may the scrubby with you.